PyRevit is finally available for Revit 2025. You can download the new version at pyrevitlabs.io. Click here on latest release. You will be brought to the GitHub page. Uh, you can see the list of changes and improvements. If I scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can find the assets and either pick this one, the admin sign, or just the sign directly. And as you can see here, I am running indeed PyRevit in 2025. You can see my colored tabs. So let's explore some of the interesting new features. The biggest changes have been to the pre-flight checks, which have been improved with a new check. So you can always create your own set of checks, uh, but there are new pre-made ones. You can see there's a dot, which means that you need to hold shift and click on this tool to set up the CSV file. So in this case, we're using the default one. And now you can select if you want to export the data that is collected. So I click on yes. And if I go to the desktop, I can select uh, create new folder, use this one, PyRivet exports. And in this case, I can click again to run the pre-flight checks and you can see if uh, there are new ones. My favorite is still the model checker, which I'm using a lot with uh, clients to check out the health of Revit models. It just gives you a quick overview of many things uh, to see how LT the model is. You can see how many Revit links are, are pinned or not pinned. How many views not on place on cheat, unused view templates, warnings. Okay, now let's do another pre-flight check that is a very similar to model checker, but is brand new and it is called audit all. And this one includes all the links. So all the rivet links in this model. So if I run this check, you can see that it will run the model checker not only in the main open architectural file, but also on all the link files. So this is a great way to have a quick overview if the models are healthy or not. Uh, similarly to the model checker, you can see how many line patterns, how many in-place families, uh, how many view templates and unused view templates you have in not only the open Revit file, but all linked files as well. All the new pre-flight checks are interesting, but the final one I wanted to show you is called 10 Mile Raider by Tay Hotman. And this one, it is to check out the coordinates and the extent of your file. So if I run this, it gives me this uh, dialog box. First, it tells me the distance between the survey point to uh, the internal origin. I can see it's about uh, 790 feet away, which seems to be acceptable. And you can see with this uh, emoji, it basically means it passed the test. And it is the 3D view bounding box is located less than 10 miles or 16 kilometers away from the internal origin. So if you don't pass this check, it is a terrible sign. You might have many issues in your models. So make sure that you model things not too far away from the internal origin. And as I mentioned previously, the new pre-flight checks now exports the data to a CSV file, at least for one specific check. The audit all remember when we ran that check, not only on the open Revit model, but all Revit links as well. And all the info in that check is included in this CSV. So you can use it in Power BI, even with AI or any other CSV analysis tool that you might be using. The other tool that I wanted to showcase is Color Splasher. This was originally developed by BIM1, but it has recently migrated to PyRevit as a free open source tool. The previous version of Color Splasher had some bugs, but with the new release of PyRevit, most of them seems to have been fixed. So let me do a quick demo. In this case, in this floor plan, I select the walls category. And in this case, let's select uh, for the parameter family and type. You can see all the values of family and type in this view and I can uh, set the colors. And this is similar to creating view filters, except it's much faster and they're all uh, automatically added to the view. Something nice that I like about this as well is clicking here on create legend. And you can see in my legends, I have this new color splasher and um, yeah, all the colors used in this floor plan view have been reproduced over here. So it's a very quick way to use colors to visualize uh, any parameter that you want. The last feature that I wanted to showcase are the new languages. So PyRevit is available in English, French, Russian, and German. So let's go back to Revit and let's try to switch to French. Uh, I'm going here into the settings, then going to UI UX, and you can select a language in uh, this dropdown. However, you can see a lot of language and not just the four that I mentioned. So others you might switch, but it's not fully translated. So in this case, let's try out in French. Uh, you must click on save settings and reload. And you can see that all the tools have been translated. Lastly, PyRivet is a free and open source tool. If you can, I invite you to donate and contribute to the project. I've added the link to do so in the video description. Did you know that PyRivet can be used to create your own custom Revit toolbar? 
In the BIMPure membership, we have collaborated with Eric Fritz to create a mini course explaining all the steps to do so. It is part of our BIM Master sessions. This includes an ebook PDF and a series of videos. Eric guides you with all the steps to complete your custom add-in. At the end of the course, you will have developed your own tool integrated in the ribbon, saving you hundreds of hours. Enroll now and unlock the entire BIMPure catalog at BIMPure.com.